Hello, I'm Douglas Bruno McCartney, friend of America. I'm from Barnet in Hertfordshire, about 10 miles north of London. I have a message for President Donald Trump. Sir, you've boasted that you'll make America great again. In fact, all you've achieved is you've made America a worldwide laughing stock. Sure, you've got your followers in the USA, rootin', tootin', gun totin' simpletons. Who are easily manipulated. They love it when you go, when you go like this. <laughs> they think it's clever. <laughs> How many people in the White House and the Pentagon do you think really respect you? Because the rumour I hear is that they laugh at you behind your back. They refer to you as the orange pig. That's not very nice, is it? Of course, to your face, they pretend to respect you. They have to, or they'd lose their job. But between each other, <laughs> when you're not listening, they're laughing at you. They think you're a clown. They know you're a clown. Many of them wished you had died from COVID-19. Mike Pence, Vice President Mike Pence, says the President needs four more years. Of course he's going to say that. He's hoping you'll die. When you die, he takes over. He becomes the President. And as a fundamentalist Christian, <laughs> he'll prepare the world for the rapture, Armageddon. When the born-again Christians will be raptured into the sky just as Jesus just as Jesus happens to be plummeting down with a sword protruding from his mouth. He'll, Jesus will give everybody a little pat on the head and then continue plummeting down to earth to do battle with the great beast. Yay! 666! And afterwards all these born again Mike Pencers will flutter down to earth to repopulate the earth. That's what Mike Pence is looking forward to. You are personally responsible for the deaths of thousands of your countrymen and countrywomen and children. And yet you think it's a joke. It's funny. It's something to have a laugh about. <laughs> what a moron you are. You even insult medical personnel who are putting their own lives at risk to save people who are suffering and dying from COVID-19. You are a disaster for the United States of America, an absolute disaster. I'm sure you realise, or perhaps you don't, that there isn't one world leader, not one, nowhere, nowhere in the whole wide world will you find a world leader who respects you. Every single world leader in the world, whether it be Canada, Britain, France, Germany, Russia, uh, anywhere in Asia at all, did I say China, uh, Australia, New Zealand, anywhere you name, there isn't one world leader who respects you. Not one. And neither do the people. Everybody recognises you as a class clown. Of course, when they meet you, they put on a big act because that's what world leaders do. Queen Elizabeth, she smiles at you. But you, <laughs> if only you knew what was really going on in her mind. If only you knew what was going on in the minds of all world leaders 
when they meet you. They can't get rid of you quick enough because they realise they're in the company of an absolute moron, a dickhead of the first order, a clown. And like all good clowns, you give us a laugh. <laughs> That's what clowns do, and you're good at it. You even insult the medical personnel who have put in their own lives at risk to save thousands of people who you've put at risk. You think that it's clever to question the science and cast doubt upon the scientists and the professors and the doctors who know what they're talking about. According to you, you know more than all of them put together. What a... Oh, there's no word low enough to describe you. Throughout its history, the USA has been governed by a fair share of incompetent leaders. But this is the first time in the whole history of the USA that it has been governed by a clown. If you lose in a couple of days time, chances are you will deliberately plunge the United States, the United States of America into another civil war. This would turn you on, this would just prove to yourself how powerful you are and how important you are. Thousands and thousands more people killed, all fighting either for you or against you. What a turn on! And by the way, incidentally, if you lose, I do hope that the Chiefs of Staff, or whatever they're called, I do hope they keep a very tight grip on the, what is it called, nuclear football? The nuclear codes? Because what could be a bigger ego trip than to be the man who destroys all life on planet Earth? I wouldn't put that past you. Let me tell you, Mr. Trump, your legacy will be that of the worst president in the history of the USA. Your legacy will be the president who laughed like a drain when thousands upon thousands of his fellow citizens died horribly of a dreadful disease that he could have done something about but chose not to because he wanted to give the impression that he is more powerful than the disease. <sighs> when you eventually go, whether it's this year or four years time, it will take the United States of America generations to recover from the damage you've done and are still doing to this day. My hope, my earnest hope is that one day the USA recovers from the damage you've done and are still doing. You are to the USA what the Reverend Jim Jones was to the Jonestown victims in Guyana several years ago a very very sick and disturbed man who was responsible for the deaths of thousands of in your case thousands upon thousands of your own citizens your own people their deaths are on your shoulders